Welcome back guys to some more tabs at Unit Creator Creations as you can see today we've got a little Darth Vader dude here Don't forget check the old little link that's gonna pop up at the top of the screen right now for my other and my, my playlist for my other tabs Unit Creations There's right six seven in there so far. It's gonna be growing weekly slash daily at the moment because I've got loads of things I want to do so check that out for other ones you want to check them out as well also don't forget to smash like on the video as well if you enjoy this and it helps you and get subscribed clicked as well and the notification bell too guys if you want to see more of these videos of which there are going to be a lot more and in general tabs content too anyway we'll crack on with the video today as you can see here this is my version of Darth Vader again certain bits are tricky to do so we've got to go to work around it to get what we can do best anyway we'll start off with the unit base which is the wobbler as pretty much always at the moment the reaper voice is the best I think for him. Have a little listen to this. Okay. Oh. Nope. Reaper, Reaper voice is not wanting to say anything other than that. Okay. Anyway, weapons we'll come back to. There's one I'll suggest later on, but it's up to you on that one. Anyway, these are the 10 um, items again we're going to be going for with this guy. Obviously, he's mostly black, as you can see. So, this is going to be nice and simple to do. Anyway, we've got the World War boots, because obviously, he's more of a booty person than anything else. So, yeah, the World War boots, obviously, black. Renaissance pants just in here, also black. The Tab G vest here, as you can see, we've got different elements, different colours. So we've got the black section, obviously, at the front here. We've got different shades of uh, of the of the grey. I think this is on the, from memory on the uh, yeah the grey scale. Different shades here of that, depending on what your preference is for that section. Coming out of that, we've then got the samurai shirt underneath again, just so it kind of covers his arms and underneath the vest area again, again black as per most of it. We've got the farmer's coat, which is kind of this long one around here. Because we can't, the cape doesn't really come all the way, you can't have the cape coming all the way around like his does. So we have to kind of like do a combo job to make it really work. So we've got this, we've got the farmer's coat, again, well the main bit black. And then we've got again two different shades of the grey for this section. I think this one actually might be possibly on the metal scale here. So this might be one of the silvers possibly. Um, for some reason, ignore the fact it's lighting up the vest. Sometimes on this unit creator, for some reason, when you change one colour, it seems to highlight other colours. It won't change both, it's just going to change just the belt. But I think it might be that one for the belt anyway. See, it goes back, it's very odd. I think there must be a little bug in it still. So you've got the silver on there for the belt buckle, and then like, the other shade of grey, just, just so the belt kind of stands out a little bit there. Coming back on to the uh, next se next section, we've got the medieval cape on the back here, which is the biggest cape there appears to be on the game. It'd be useful if they could have one which wrapped around the arms, but, but there isn't yet. Again, again, black, sticking to the same... You know, as, as always. Um, up the top here, we've got the Farmer Scarecrow mask I used with Deadpool um, to kind of cover this guy's face up. Again, you need something which covers the face but gives you eyes. This is all we've got. So if I go on to this, you've got the... Again, these colours do not give you the impression of what it really actually is. So you've got the blackness of the eyes here. There's a second section here as well. These sections, that's black. That is like a very dark a very dark colouring on the grey scale, which isn't fully dark. So you, so you can see it just... just determines a slightly different colour, just so you can see there's like a little bit of eye action in there. And then the um, outside bit here again is not a full black I don't think on this one, I think this is a slightly, slightly one up from black possibly, I want to say. I think yeah one up from black I believe in there for that one. Again you can play around with that as to what you what you fancy yourselves. Then after that we've got the Wild West gloves, um, which is look a bit beasty and look as close as we're going to get to his gloves. And again black as per everything, really frustrates me this is not black though, but hey. What can you do? And then finally, the samurai helmet appears to be the best one we can use. And there are a couple of helmets you could use, but this one I think is the most, is the closest, if I can zoom in, the closest you can get to his actual helmet. I know you've got this bit on the front, but there aren't really any other ones which have the right shape along with that. And you can see close up as well, you can see what his eyes look like. So, yeah, it's as close as you can get really uh, to making him look as lifelike as possible. Anyway, onto the weaponry. So the best thing you can use here, if I just type it in, is the uh, Monkey Monkey King Staff. This is what I went for anyway, what I thought was best. As, as a close thing as a lightsaber. Clearly it's quite big, but if you have a sword, it doesn't look really look right. You could use a sword as an alternative. I went with this. So anyway, you've got a few different colours on here. So my, my choices anyway, personally, were going for this handle being black. Um, I think I went full black on the handle. Uh, when I did it before, so full black on the handle, and then make this kind of like your yeah, like your red colour, but whatever red you fancy. I guess the lighter the red, the more glowy it looks. They so go for that one. Um, I went two-handed with him as you as you go there. It's kind of a two-handed weapon. So you kind of have to use it that way. If you fancy something which is more more usable as a one-handed weapon, you might want to go back in here and use a sword of some description. Uh, if I not all the swords are called swords on this to be fair but you might want to pick something which looks more swordy but again these ones are, for me I don't think really look completely right there's a few options in it but again none of these would really look really lightsaberish at all I'm aware that the monkey king staff's huge but you know it's either that you go for something like I don't know like this and um why didn't that come up then
The sword did not come up high rude. Let's just go for a katana, for example. You can change bits of it again. You can change it as you as you want. So again, you can change this to kind of like the, the red colour and whatnot again. Um, which, again, might be what you fancy doing instead. I don't know. If I change the rest to black, let's have a quick look, shall we? And see how that looks. It, if I change the right section, it would help, wouldn't it? But you might want to have like a glowing a glowing section there. You might want to change all this to go black. Um, we'll see how this looks. Again, his clothes are changing randomly briefly there. It's very very weird it does this. I don't know why it does it. When you come out of it, it's always fine. If like all this completely black, then I just see how it looks. There. Oops. And then the final section here. So you can go something like that, which I guess you could say looks lightsaberish to an extent if you want to ignore the fact that it's actually a sword. If you want him to hold something which looks more hold it in a more lightsabery way and do moves that are more lightsabery than he would with a Monkey King staff, you might want that instead. It's up to you guys though, really, obviously. And then other than that, if you want to go for anything like your um uh, what else have we got to look at? I've forgotten where we're going here. Special abilities, that's where we're going to go. Again, your own personal preference on this. If you're going to use, if you want to be kind of like quite acrobatic and energetic and stuff, you might want the Monkey King jump, but don't forget, I think that one's going to probably multiply him into multiple different uh, versions of himself like it does normally in the game, so that one might not be the greatest. You might want the super jumps and stuff in it, because obviously he's quite, 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 um, Moveable, moveable, maneuverable. That's the word we're going for, maneuverable. And then up to you, really, what you want from the rest of this. There's some sword ones in there as well, uh, somewhere. Where are they at the bottom? You've got your hurricane slashes, your tornado swipes, and things like that, I guess, would work best with the sword. Um, and whatever you fancy, really, guys. Again, if you want them to be dodgeable of things, bring some of these in. But yeah, basically, that's that's how you make the um, Darth Vader. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you and you're going to do it and you're going to do it yourself, please smash like for me now. That would really be gratefully, gratefully appreciated. Also, smash um, subscribe for me. Hit the notification bell and go ding, ding with that little bell. And until next time, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Cheers all. Bye.